Not to be confused with the similarly named Geneva School of Diplomacy and International Relations the Graduate Institute of International and Development Studies, or the Graduate Institute in French, Institut de Hautes Etudes Internationales et du Développement previously known as Institut Universitaire de Hautes Etudes Internationales, abbreviated IHEID previously HEI, IHEI, or IUHEI is a postgraduate university located in Geneva, Switzerland. The institution counts one UN Secretary General Kofi Annan, seven Nobel Prize recipients, one Pulitzer Prize winner, and numerous ambassadors, foreign ministers, and heads of state among its alumni and faculty. Founded by two senior League of Nations officials, the Graduate Institute maintains strong links with that international organization's successor, the United Nations, and many alumni have gone on to work at UN agencies. The school is a full member of the APSIA, founded in 1927. The Graduate Institute of International Studies (IHEI or HEI) is continental Europe's oldest school of international relations and was the world's first university dedicated solely to the study of international affairs. It offered one of the first doctoral programs in international relations in the world. In 2008, the Graduate Institute absorbed the Graduate Institute of Development Studies, a smaller postgraduate institution also based in Geneva founded in 1961. The merger resulted in the current Graduate Institute of International and Development Studies. Today the school enrolls about 800 graduate students from over 100 countries. Foreign students make up nearly 80% of the student body and the school is officially a bilingual English-French institution, although the majority of classes are in English. With Maison de la Paix acting as its primary seat of learning, the institute's campuses are located blocks from the United Nations Office at Geneva, International Labour Organization, World Trade Organization, World Health Organization, International Committee of the Red Cross, World Intellectual Property Organization, and many other international organizations. It runs joint degree programs with universities such as Smith College and Yale University, and is Harvard Kennedy School's only partner university to co deliver double degrees. History The Graduate Institute of International Studies was co-founded in 1927 by two scholar diplomats working for the League of Nations Secretariat, the Swiss William Rappard, director of the Mandates section, and the Frenchman Paul Mantoux, director of the political section. A bilingual institution like the League, it was to train personnel for the nascent international organization. Its co-founder, Rappard, served as director from 1928 to 1955. The Institute's original mandate was based on a close working relationship with both the League of Nations and the International Labour Organization. It was agreed that in exchange for training staff and delegates, the Institute would receive intellectual resources and diplomatic expertise guest lecturers, etc., from the aforementioned organizations. According to its statutes, the Graduate Institute was an institution intended to provide students of all nations the means of undertaking and pursuing international studies, most notably of a historic, judicial, economic, political and social nature." The institute managed to attract a number of eminent faculty and lecturers, particularly from countries mired in oppressive Nazi regimes, e.g., Hans Weberg and Georges Sell for law, Maurice Borquin for diplomatic history, and the rising young Swiss jurist, Paul Guggenheim. Indeed, it is said that William Rappard had observed, ironically, that the two men to whom the Institute owed its greatest debt were Mussolini and Hitler. Subsequently, more noted scholars would join the Institute's faculty. Hans Kelsen, the well-known theorist and philosopher of law, Guglielmo Ferrero, Italian historian, and Karl Burkhardt, scholar and diplomat all called the Graduate Institute home. Other arrivals, similarly seeking refuge from dictatorship, included the eminent free market economy historian, Ludwig von Mises, and another economist, Wilhelm Röpke, who greatly influenced German post-war liberal economic policy as well as the development of the theory of a social market system. After a number of years, the Institute had developed a system whereby corps temporaires were given by prominent intellectuals on a week, semester, or year-long basis. 
These corps temporaires were the intellectual showcase of the institute, attracting such names as Raymond Aron, René Cassin, Luigi Inaudi, John Kenneth Galbraith, G. P. Gooch, Gottfried Haberler, Friedrich von Hayek, Hirsch Lauterpacht, Lord McNair, Gunnar Myrtle, Harold Nicholson, Philip Noel Baker, Pierre Renouvin, Lionel Robbins, Jean de Salas, Count Carlos Sforza, Jacob Viner, and Martin White. Another course temporaire professor, Montague Burton Professor of International Relations at Oxford University, Sir Alfred Zimmern, left a particularly lasting mark on the Institute. As early as 1924, while serving on the staff of the International Council for Intellectual Cooperation in Paris, Zimmern began organizing international affairs summer schools under the auspices of the University of Geneva, Zimmern Schools, as they became known. The initiative operated in parallel with the early planning for the launch of the Graduate Institute and the experience acquired by the former helped to shape the latter, despite its small size. Before the 1980s, the faculty never exceeded 25 members. The Institute boasts four faculty members who have received Nobel Prizes for Economics Gunnar Myrtle, Friedrich von Hayek, Maurice Alace, and Robert Mandel. Three alumni have been Nobel laureates. For a period of almost 30 years 1927 to 1954, the school was funded predominantly through the support of the Rockefeller Foundation. Since then the Canton of Geneva and the Swiss Federal Council bear most of the costs associated with the Institute. This transfer of financial responsibility coincided with the 1955 arrival of William Rappard's successor as director of the Institute, Lausanne historian Jacques Fremond. Freyman inaugurated a period of great expansion, increasing the range of subjects taught and the number of both students and faculty, a process that continued well after his retirement in 1978. Under Freyman's tenure, the Graduate Institute hosted many international colloquia that discussed preconditions for East-West negotiations, relations with China and its rising influence in world affairs, European integration, techniques and results of politico-socio-economic forecasting, the famous early Club of Rome reports, and the Futurables project led by Bertrand de Juvenel, the causes and possible antidotes to terrorism, Pugwash conference concerns and much more. Freyman's term also saw many landmark publications, including the Treatise on International Law by Professor Paul Guggenheim and the six-volume compilation of historical documents relating to the Communist International, the Parallel History of the Graduate Institute of Development Studies French, Institut Universitaire d'Etudes du Développement, IUED also involves Freyman, who founded the institution in 1961 as the Institut Africain de Genève, or African Institute of Geneva. The Graduate Institute of Development Studies was among the pioneer institutions in Europe to develop the scholarly field of sustainable development. The school was also known for the critical view of many of its professors on development aid, as well as for its journal, the Cahiers de l'Ouest. It was at the center of a huge international network. <laughs> Recent merger In 2008, the Graduate Institute of International Studies hey, absorbed the Graduate Institute of Development Studies IUED, to create the current Graduate Institute of International and Development Studies IHEID. <laughs> Academics Admission to the Graduate Institute's study programs is highly competitive, with only 14% of applicants attending the Graduate Institute in 2014. The Institute awards its own degrees. It does not award undergraduate degrees. <laughs> Ranking As a small institution offering exclusively master's and Ph.D. programs, the Institute does not participate in popular university ranking, in Foreign Policies 2014 inside the Ivory Tower ranking of best international relations schools in the world, the Graduate Institute's master's program was ranked 24 stone among master's programs for policy career in international relations. In 2012, the Graduate Institute was listed among the Foreign Policy Associations. Top 50 International Affairs Graduate Programs. The LLM in International Dispute Settlement, offered jointly with the University of Geneva, was ranked second worldwide according to a 2012 survey of law firms conducted by the Global Arbitration Review. Topic: 
Degree programs Topic Master of Arts in International Affairs MIA The MIA is an intensive two-year interdisciplinary master program which begins with a rigorous foundation in quantitative and qualitative methods and in all the disciplines of the institute. Courses follow in three thematic tracks, trade and international finance, global security, and environment, resources and sustainability. All students undertake independent interdisciplinary research towards a dissertation. Applied research seminars expose them to stakeholders beyond academia and develop skills to design and execute research projects in partnership with them. Specialized, interactive, hands-on workshops help enhance professional skills, while internships for credit allow students to develop work skills and experience. Topic. Master of Arts in Development Studies MDEV. The Master of Arts in Development Studies aims to equip students aspiring to careers in development with the theoretical, policy, and practical skills to tackle the great development challenges of our time. MDEV combines training in quantitative and qualitative methods with disciplinary courses in anthropology, sociology, economics, history, and law, and a unique interdisciplinary approach to three critical areas, conflict and peace building, development and sustainability, and human and social development. Topic Disciplinary Master of Arts MA. A disciplinary two-year master's program is offered by each of the Graduate Institute's five academic departments, International Relations and Political Science, International History, International Law, International Economics, and Anthropology and Sociology. During the program students are spending a semester on their master's thesis. Topic. Master of Laws in International Law LLM. The LLM, was introduced in 2012. Students have the opportunity to discuss legal problems in tutorials, develop their professional skills in practical workshops and write an LLM, paper on a topic within their specialty stream. Moreover, LLM, participants undertake real legal work for a client as part of a law clinic. Topic. Doctorate PhD. PhD students specialize in one disciplinary field. PhD candidates who wish to carry out bi-disciplinary research choose a main discipline a major and a second discipline a minor. Topic. Executive Masters Executive education programs include Masters in International Negotiation and Policy Making, Development Policies and Practices, International Oil and Gas Leadership. Partnerships The Graduate Institute has established joint or dual degree programs with, the MPA program at Harvard University's John F. Kennedy School of Government, the LLM, in Global Health Law Program at the Georgetown University's Law Center, the BA program at Yale University's Jackson Institute for Global Affairs, the BA program at Peking University, the BA program at Smith College, the BA program at the University of Hong Kong, and with the University of Geneva's LLM, in International Dispute Settlement, LLM. L.M., in International Humanitarian Law, Masters in Translational Justice, Masters of Advanced Studies in Humanitarian Action, Masters in Global Health, and Masters in Asian Studies. Apart from the dual, joint degree programs, students also have the option to spend an exchange semester at Georgetown Law School, Harvard Law School, Michigan Law School, UCLA School of Law, Boston University School of Law, Yale University, the Elliott School of International Affairs at George Washington University, the Fletcher School of Law and Diplomacy at Tufts University, School of International Service at American University in Washington, D.C., Northwestern University, Sciences Po Paris, Institute 
Institute d'études politiques de Paris, the Hertie School of Governance in Berlin, Bocconi University in Italy, Libera Università Internazionale degli Studi Sociali Guido Carli in Italy, the Graduate School of International Studies at Seoul National University, the Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy at the National University of Singapore, the Graduate School of Asia Pacific Studies at Waseda University, University of Hong Kong, Tsinghua University, Fudan University, Peking University, KIMEP University, Gajah Mata University, the School of International Studies at Jawaharlal Nehru University, University of Malaya, the American University in Cairo, Bogazici University in Turkey, Pontifical Catholic University of Rio de Janeiro, Pontifical Catholic University of Peru, El Colegio de Mexico, the University of Ghana, Sheikh Anta Diop University, Stellenbosch University, as well as the University of St. Gallen and ETH Zurich in Switzerland. Furthermore, the Graduate Institute is an active member of the following associations and academic networks APSIA, Association of Professional Schools of International Affairs, the world's main academic institution specializing in international relations and international public policy are represented among APSIA's 30-odd members. European University Association, represents and supports more than 850 institutions of higher education in 46 countries, providing them with a forum for cooperation and exchange of information on higher education and research policies. Europium, created at the initiative of the University of Oxford, the Europium is composed of ten leading European institutions of higher education and research. European Consortium for Political Research, the ECPR is an independent scholarly association that supports the training, research and cross-national cooperation of many thousands of academics and graduate students specializing in political science and all its sub-disciplines. European Association of Development Research and Training Institutes, the EADI is the largest existing network of research and training institutes active in the field of development studies. Agence Universitaire de la Francophonie, the AUF supports the build-up of French language research area between French-speaking universities. The institute is one of 536 members belonging to the AUF and takes part in its exchange programs in the fields of teaching and research. Swiss University Conference, the SUC is a governmental organization tasked with accrediting officially recognized Swiss universities. Campus The Campus de la Paix is a network of buildings extending from Place des Nations the United Nations headquarters in Geneva to the shores of Lake Geneva, spanning two public parks, Park Barton and Park Moynier. Maison de la Paix The Graduate Institute's main campus is the Maison de la Paix, House of Peace, which opened in 2013. The Maison de la Paix is a 38,000-meter square glass building distributed into six connected sections. It contains the Davis Library, which holds 350,000 books about social sciences, journals and annual publications, making it one of Europe's richest libraries in the fields of development and international relations. It is named after two Institute alumni. Ambassador Shelby Cullum Davis and his wife Catherine Davis, following the Davis's $10 million donation to the Institute. The neighboring Pachoto student residence was completed in 2012 and provides 135 apartments for students and visiting professors. In addition to serving as the Institute's main campus, the Maison de la Paix also houses policy centers and advocacy groups with close ties to the Institute such as the Geneva Center for the Democratic Control of Armed Forces DCAF, the Geneva Center for Security Policy GCSP, the Geneva International Center for Humanitarian Demining, Interpeace, the International Institute of Humanitarian Law and the World Business Council for Sustainable Development. Historic villas Another section of the campus are two historic villas situated by Lake Geneva, Villa Barton and Villa Moynier. Villa Barton served as the institute's main campus for most of the school's history. It now mostly houses administrative staff. Villa Moynier, created in 2001 and which opened in October 2009, houses the institute-based Geneva Academy of International Humanitarian Law and Human Rights. 
The building holds a symbolic significance as it was originally owned by Gustav Moynier, co-founder of the International Committee of the Red Cross, and subsequently used by the League of Nations and as the headquarters of the ICRC between 1933 and 1946. <laughs> Campus expansion Expansion projects include the construction of the Portail des Nations or Gate of Nations near the Palace of Nations. The new building will house a series of conference rooms for students and host exhibitions on the role of Geneva in world affairs. The school has also partnered with the University of Geneva to open a center for international cooperation at the historic castle of Penthes. And in 2017, the school announced it had retained the services of Japanese architect Kengo Kuma to build a 700-bed student housing building. Topic: Research. The institute's research activities are conducted both at fundamental and applied levels with the objective of bringing analysis to international actors, private or public, of main contemporary issues. These research activities are conducted by the faculty of the institute, as part of their individual work, or by interdisciplinary teams within centers and programs whose activity focus on these main fields Conflict, security, and peacebuilding Development policies and practices Culture, religion, and identity Environment and natural resources Finance and development Gender Globalization Governance Migration and refugees Non-state actors and civil society Rural development Trade, regionalism, and integration Dispute settlement Humanitarian action Furthermore, IHEID is home to the Swiss Chair of Human Rights, the Kurt Gasteiger Chair in International Security and Conflict Studies, the Andre Hoffman Chair in Environmental Economics, the Pictet Chair in Environmental International Law, the Pictet Chair in Finance and Development, the Yves Ultramare Chair on Politics and Religion, the Swiss Chair of International Humanitarian Law, and the Pierre Dubois Chair Europe and the World. Topic. Programs and research centers The centers and programs of the Institute distribute analysis and research that contributes to the analysis of international organizations headquartered in Geneva. The Center on Conflict, Development and Peacebuilding is the Graduate Institute's focal point for research in the areas of conflict analysis, peacebuilding, and the complex relationships between security and development. The Center for International Environmental Studies was established in 2010 for the purpose of developing political, legal and economic discourse on problems related to the global environment. It is dedicated to the better understanding of the social, economic and political facets of global problems related to the environment. The Center for Trade and Economic Integration brings together the research activities of eminent professors of economics, law and political science in the area of trade, economic integration and globalization. The center provides a forum for discussion and dialogue between the global research community, including the institute's student body and research centers in the developing world, and the international business community, as well as international organizations and NGOs. The Center for Finance and Development's research deals with finance and development at three levels, international finance, and development finance in particular, including the role played by the international financial institutions such as the IMF and the World Bank, financial development, including banking and financial sector development in emerging and developing countries, both from contemporary and historical perspectives, microeconomics of finance and development. The Global Governance Center provides a forum for scholars of governance and international organizations to interact with practitioners from the policy world in order to analyze global governance arrangements across a variety of issues. The Global Health Program's activities focus on two pillars, namely global health governance and global health diplomacy. The Global Migration Center focus on the transnational dimensions of migration and its interdisciplinary orientation. By doing so the GMC seeks to fully grasp the complexities of mobility in a globalized world. To this end, it combines inputs from lawyers, political scientists, economists, historians, anthropologists and sociologists. 
The Albert Hirschman Center on Democracy explores the plurality of democratic experiences and aspirations in an interdisciplinary and comparative perspective. The program on gender and global change produces cutting-edge research on the workings of gender in development and international relations and serves as a channel for the dissemination of such knowledge in both the Anglophone and the Francophone worlds. The Small Arms Survey is an independent research project that serves as the principal international source of public information on all aspects of small arms and armed violence and as a resource for governments, policy makers, researchers, and activists. Publications Refugee Survey Quarterly, published by Oxford University Press and based at the Graduate Institute, the Refugee Survey Quarterly is a peer-reviewed journal focusing on the challenges of forced migration from multidisciplinary and policy-oriented perspectives. Journal of International Dispute Settlement, established by the Graduate Institute and the University of Geneva in 2010, the JIDS is dedicated to international law with commercial, economic and financial implications. It is published by Oxford University Press. International Development Policy, a peer-reviewed e-journal that promotes cutting-edge research and policy debates on global development. European Journal of Development Research – The European Journal of Development Research is a co-publication of the Graduate Institute and the European Association of Development Research and Training Institutes with a multidisciplinary focus. Medicine Anthropology Theory – Medicine Anthropology Theory is an open access journal that publishes scholarly articles, essays, reviews, and reports related to medical anthropology and science and technology studies. Relations Internationales – Relations Internationales publishes research on international relations history ranging from the end of the 19th century to recent history. Organization Legal status IHEID is constituted as a Swiss private law foundation, Fondation pour les hautes études internationales et du développement, sharing a convention with the University of Geneva. This is a particular organizational form, because IHEID is constituted as a foundation of private law fulfilling a public purpose. In addition, the political responsibility for the institute shared between the Swiss Confederation and the Canton of Geneva. Usually in Switzerland, it is the responsibility of the cantons to run public universities, except for the Federal Institutes of Technology ETHZ and EPFL. IHEID is therefore something like a hybrid institution, in between the two standard categories. Foundation Board The Foundation Board is the administrative body of the Institute. It assembles academics, politicians, people of public life and practitioners. It includes among others, Carlos López, currently UN Under Secretary General and Executive Secretary of the Economic Commission for Africa, Julia Martin Lefebvre, former Director General of the International Union for Conservation of Nature, Joel Kuntz, journalist, and Tamar Manuelian Atinc, a former World Bank Vice President. Topic. Administration The institute is headed by Philippe Borin and his deputy Elizabeth Prugel. Topic. Notable alumni The Graduate Institute has more than 18,000 alumni working around the world. Kofi Annan, former Secretary General of the United Nations and 2001 Nobel Peace Prize recipient Mohamed El Baradei, Egyptian jurist and diplomat, former Director General of the International Atomic Energy Agency and 2005 Nobel Peace Prize recipient Leonid Hurich, Polish-American economist and mathematician, Nobel Memorial Prize in Economics in 2007 Micheline Kami Ray, former President of the Swiss Confederation Kurt Fergler, former president of the Swiss Confederation Michel Cafando, interim president of Burkina Faso 
Alpha Omar Canare, ex President of Mali, Henri, Grand Duke of Luxembourg, Jakaya Mr. Isho Kikwete, 4th President of Tanzania. Gallery Nobel laureates Kofi Annan, Dia 1962, former Secretary General of the United Nations and 2001 Nobel Peace Prize winner. Mohamed El Baradei, Dia 1964, Egyptian jurist and diplomat, former Director General of the International Atomic Energy Agency, 1997 to 2009, and 2005 Nobel Peace Prize winner. Leonid Hurich, 1940, Polish-American economist and mathematician, 2007 winner of the Nobel Memorial Prize in Economics. Topic: Business. Topic: Diplomacy. Topic: Law, politics and government Topic Heads of State Topic Cabinet Ministers Topic Judges Topic Members of Parliament Topic Public Officials Topic United Nations and International Organizations Topic Academia Topic Economics Topic History Topic International Law Topic International Relations and Political Science Topic Linguistics George W. Grace, License nineteen forty eight, linguist specializing in Oceanic languages of Melanesia. Topic Broadcasting, Journalism and Literature. Topic Nobility. Duarte Pio, Duke of Braganza and pretender to the throne of Portugal Princess Nora of Liechtenstein Maria Theresa, Grand Duchess of Luxembourg Topic: Public policy Topic: Other Jack Fahey, U.S. government official and suspected spy during World War II Jacques Picard, deep-sea explorer and inventor Catherine Wasserman Davis, American philanthropist Sadia Zahidi, head of gender parity and human capital of the World Economic Forum Notable faculty Topic Former Faculty Equals 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 current faculty